I like the little creeping up thing on the left. It's, it's almost like the uh, the old attack gauge. I want to do the magic missile first. So I don't want to. Yeah, I knew that was gonna get him. That's a big boss fight. First big bo big boss fight. Oh my god, that's gonna be so much fun. I don't even mind the weird graphics that are a little bit. You know. Hello everybody and welcome to the opener of Final Fantasy VI. Now, I am Marco Santana. I am in Orlando, Florida, which is exactly why I call myself Marco in Orlando. Now, Final Fantasy VI is um, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is the audio on this recording is not that hot. So, I'm going to voice over some of these uh, points and kind of... Uh, talk through kind of the game and, and kind of what this whole thing meant to me when I was young. Um, it's been a lot of fun to replay it and revisit it on Steam. In fact, that's one of the reasons that I got Steam. Now, I've been a gamer for a very long time and only recently was trying to find Final Fantasy VI out there uh, somewhere, um, looking at the PlayStation Store or looking at like wherever I could find it. And all I could find were a couple mobile versions and then the one on Steam. So I went ahead and started an account on Steam. I know I'm way late to that game, but it is absolutely because this game to me is the best game that's ever been made when you take into account when it was made, right? There are some good games that are made right now. I love I love gaming. I love there are a lot of good games right now that I love to play. I love The Witcher when it was out. I love Last of Us, both of them, um, and, and I, you know, I do like some, myself some sports games. And I like silly games like Fall Guys as well. Uh, but you know, when it comes to the environment and the timing of a game, I think not, nothing matches Final Fantasy VI. So when we open the game, as as I'm sure many of you know, um, we are in control. We aren't. We are in control of this woman who is in a mechanized suit. Now, we don't know anything about what's going on and why she's in the suit. Uh, but obviously, in, in the near future, we, we learn that she's actually in, enslaved. And it's the beginning of what I think is, again, I think what makes Final Fantasy is great is its story. Some of you guys may know that I am a reporter, I'm a journalist who writes about technology. So. I frankly love storytelling. I also loved this opening sequence. That's something that was not seen too often in these 16-bit uh, uh, video games back in the day. Uh, I remember this was Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. So that was, uh, you know, this is the, like, to me this was a really cool uh, thing you know, uh, that we just didn't see a lot of. Now once Final Fantasy went to Final Fantasy VII, and they went to Sony, that literally was the last time I bought a Nintendo system because I did decide that I was going to follow Final Fantasy to the PlayStation consoles. Now, obviously we're looking at PlayStation 5 coming up here in a couple of months. Definitely want to get in on that, and that's exciting. Um, but if you look at, looking back at the story here, uh, we have her, now she's leading this trio. And remember, when I first started playing, we didn't know what was happening. We didn't know what the goal was. We just knew that we were this woman who was hanging out with a couple of soldiers. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the next uh, beginning level. Where's the level? Obtain the potion. Oh, wrong way. Let's just go straight up and see what happens. Pretty sure this is the right way. Ow, ow, ow. You're going to notice here that um, there, there, I really had problems with the audio in this first recording. 
the voice is good, but the game is not good. And it really was just a lot of growing or just kind of learning and trying to figure it out. I mean, um, I have it good now, but uh, yeah, for, so the first couple of clips, I am going to kind of do a little more voiceover like this on it because, um, you know, just to, to, to make sure that uh, there's something um, on there audio wise. Now, uh, you know, it, it, and it's, it's pretty bad because I think one of the cool things about this also is the music in the game. The music in the game was really upbeat and, and kind of, uh, uh, again, at the time it was, it was something that was unheard of as far as where it went and uh, how it had its own theme. Uh, and, you know, when you, when you win, you have this, this victory theme, which obviously still is in, is in, is in play right now with the Final Fantasy, a very similar, similar sounding. Um, so yeah, so that, that's kind of like uh, one of the problems I had when I was first recording this, and I'm hoping to, or it's figured out for the future clips. I, I think the first like two, maybe three clips, I think, are gonna have this kind of audio problems. Um, but you know, you just learn, live and learn. And uh, this has been fun to kind of learn how to how to do the streaming thing and how to do this this gaming yeah. online. So. Um, I'm excited about it, and uh, and yeah, so you can see here we're still kind of making our way through the city, the and and sports. that's kind of our objective right now. I see. Oh, oh man, she's almost dead. Interface compared to like it's just weird the, the layout. But here we go. Defend the mines. Ooh, look at these guys. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Adios, pal. All right, that's good. That's good. The so you probably noticed music. this, and I'll tell you kind of oh, in this real game time is right amazing. now <laughs> that um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up the audio so we can hear the music, while but that will be my voice is a little bit louder as well. So um, that's going to be I'm sure distracting. According to our again, source, they are under the I think frozen it's cool to, to get the music in there and be able to hear oh, the sound those. of you know, <coughs> these, this, this. Must be it. Really classic score. Um, and, and, and themes that are going on. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, that, that's, I think that's what I'm going to do here for the first couple clips. And that's all right. It, I think, again, like this is just a, a start of a, uh, a, of a um, nice little jump cut there to, <laughs> to kill those three, three, three things with, with, with just by blinking at them. But that's what I want to do. Uh, you know, I do... Uh, I did enjoy this game. So as we, as we can see, we're starting to see that she's more than meets the eye a little bit as you are as you start to see um, you know you're coming up when we have this battle here shortly so I'll get back to the gameplay and uh, I'll chime in every now and then as well right after oh no right right after I read Lord of the Rings is this uh here we go do not attack him when he's in his shell okay I'm pretty sure what are you talking about this is the beginning of kind of teaching you how to like fight these big bosses because like whatever you do don't attack with a shell What happened? Whoops. Oh, I see what that is. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shit. I already put the attack on. 
shit. I like the little creeping up thing on the left. It's, it's almost like the uh, kill attack age. I want to do the magic missile first. So I don't want to. Yeah, I knew that was gonna get him. That's a big boss fight. First big big boss fight. Oh my god, that's gonna be so much fun. I don't even mind the weird graphics that are a little bit, you know. Well, I thought that was like a weird thing. Ha! <laughs> Adios. Oh shit! That was dumb. You know, I'm actually thinking now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna just let this play like that and I probably won't chime in too much. As you see, this is the first time we see an Esper, which is a big part of the story. But I think the audio is gonna work that way. Uh, not perfect, of course, and it'll get better, but. Um, but yeah, so so I probably won't be chiming in too much the rest of this this clip, but let's go back to the gameplay and see what's going on here. Something's not right. Oh, it's gonna talk to her. That's right. I mean, spoiler alert. <laughs> the frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Whoa. Um. Yeah. So you guys got you have to remember this this game again came out a long time ago. Where does that light come from? And it was these kind of storytelling role playing games. It wasn't normal. Like we have that so frequently now in today's video game world. But back then, this is the first one that was like here's a story, and as you'll discover going forward, here's a bunch of different characters, and here's how they all interact with each other, and 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 um. You know how their interactions create what ends up being the world and the the adventure, and that to me was the, one of the coolest things to uh, to see as a kid who had just gotten off. Remember, just read Lord of the Rings, so story was huge for me. Um, that was way before the movies, of course. What's going on? So as we see this here, we kind of start establishing that this girl or woman is a little special, a little different. Um, and that goes to the whole storytelling side, right? That that tells that's where the storytelling starts. You need to start with a certain major plot point, I guess, that, that launches this adventure. And we'll find out what that is shortly. So there she is. Oh I love this guy. Here comes the <laughs> Here's where the music really starts. Oh my god, he looks terrible. Bro, what'd they do to you? And I just removed the crown. Oh no, okay. Here's that music, boy. The others were using it to control you. Making it so you do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> a mysterious young woman born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Ooh, what should I name her? I forgot about this. Oh, shit, I actually named her Tara. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I wanted to give her a cool name, but... Impressive, I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must have made of tougher stuff than most. Ow, 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 ow. They're after you, they're after me? Open up, we're here for the Magitech Armor Pilot. Hand over that girl, she's an agent of the Empire. 
This way, quickly. Oops. Make me have time to the mines. I'll try to buy you some time. Oh, okay. Up there. I keep pressing the button to see what's the what the fast way is. If there's a speed button. If you do watch me play this, you're gonna see I'm not gonna fast forward anything. I'm I'm patient with it, and uh, I just love playing these games and slowly figuring out what exactly I'm supposed to do. Here's another save point, which is good. Alright, this guy attacks me. He throws some sh hammers at me and shit. Or wrenches, I think. I knew it, you motherfucker! Gain a level, baby. Hell yeah. Why do I think I already had someone else by now? There she is. So you're gonna notice some jump cuts here and there. Um, what I'm trying to do is kind of uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, just minimize the time that any of my clips are really, especially on YouTube. Is this the uh, right so here? you're gonna see some, some of the things that look like uh, sloppy jump cuts, oh. uh, but I'm trying to make them as, as no, smooth as possible. They're basically just skipping certain battles, not the major ones, of course, uh, but just like little uh, level up battles and things like that. So uh, that, that's why you're going to see a little bit of a different, uh, different tone sometimes when, when it looks like they're going to be jumping around. But anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm too bad they don't make the laughing noise. That's good style, right? Yep. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. <laughs> the time has come for us to claim a rightful dominion over the world. Look at those salutes, man. Long live Emperor Gestal. I promise I won't do voices for everybody. That one just seemed to really call for one. Okay, move, move. Right, this dude. That's the guy. Lock, aka Marco. <laughs> I used to always rename him. Oh, with the... Oh, okay. With the keyboard. Duh. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ho, ho, ho. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Is there anything you need me to do? 
I met the girl. You don't mean... Yes. The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. Mm -hmm. Figaro! Mm -hmm. Here you go, hero. I think this is when we get Moogles, right? And we end up like... F there we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna try to ca cancel this game out. And then uh, end, my, end my broadcast here. And then we can f fight that strategy later. Are you saying you want to help? Koopa Koopa. Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Will you like them saying yes? We fight using three different parties. Press right shift or left shift to switch between parties. Defeat the leader of the guard before the men reach Terra or the battle is lost. Let's fight this one. Let's go. Saw that coming, damn it. I tried to switch to him. Alright, here we go. My god! Okay, these guys are moving fast. So we gotta go fast too. Okay, that's good. Oh, I should have done healing and everything. Damn it! Whoa! I could be in trouble here. Shit. Their attacks are pretty strong. Shit, someone's gonna die. Saw that. Y'all know where we are. Damn it, that guy's weak as hell. Oh yeah, there it is. Woo, that was close. I really thought I was going to lose that one. <clears throat> as soon as we get favored, I will go. Got about an hour in. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. Well, now I can walk fast. There you go. There's the secret. The switch auto. So, yeah, then, then this happens. Here, I'll, I'll explain in a second here. It's just amazing. A man said it would come back eventually. So you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side until your memory returns. I'm not going to up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory.
Well, there it is. Thank you very much for joining me. And please subscribe if you enjoyed this. And we will see you again next time.